great that you're here. It's nice to see so many people because this is a very important highlight in our calendar, providing us with a key opportunity to focus on our performance, achievements and plans and the local community staff, shadow members and communicate with many of the stakeholders. We've got a very full agenda this evening, so what I'd like to do is start by giving you a quick overview of the evening's programme. Following a brief introduction from our Chief Executive, Dr. Tracy Batten, and the Chief Financial Officer, Bill Shields, uh, they will provide an overview of our performance achievements and finances for 2013-2014. That's the formal part of the evening where we look at the accounts uh, and the report. Tracy will then lead a session on the, this, the, the plans for the next five years, looking at two initiatives in particular that demonstrate the direction we are taking to make sure, to ensure that we can continue to provide quality care for our patients and our community. Finally, we've ensured that the largest amount of time that we have is set aside for questions and comments. Our Deputy Chief Executive, Steve McManus, will host a question time session uh, where joining me on the panel will be our Chief Executive, our Chief Financial Officer, Medical Director and Nursing Director. We're anticipating a lot of questions and comments and so to make sure that we can make, take all your key issues and deal with them as well as possible, we're going to run the session along the lines of a TV and radio question time format. So we've been gathering your questions on cards at our question stations and via our website in advance of the event this evening. But please continue to put your questions in. There are staff around that will help you to do that. And then we'll make sure that you also get a chance to comment too and ask follow-up questions. Now as chairman of the Trust Board for the past three years, I remain very proud of the care that we provide, our achievements in research and education, and that, of course, along with our academic partner, Imperial College, and, and together we form one of the six academic health science centres in the UK. And also, uh, a huge thanks to our, our staff whose efforts may, uh, may ensure that we run this complex organisation effectively and efficiently. The publication of our clinical strategy this summer marked for me the beginning of a new phase of the Trust. The strategy, developed with unprecedented engagement from staff, <coughs> enables us to build on the very real strengths of our organisation, while also tackling those areas where which we need to be better in, and most importantly, it recognises and addresses the future healthcare challenges facing all healthcare systems, not just in the UK, but around the world. We know that we need to do much more to explain our thinking and to listen and respond to the views of patients and local communities. And I hope that we'll continue to do that this evening. I'm now going to hand over to our Chief Executive, Dr. Tracy Batten, to report on the Trust's performance and achievements for 2013.